welcome back to the channel. Idiot's the name, stealth's the game. That's right, we're back out tonight on a super, super stealth camp. I love the stealth camps. Yet again, I've been looking forward to this one since I packed up on the last camp. Anyway, you're watching An Idiot Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's good to have you along. Ooh. The bag of swag. When the idiot isn't carrying enough on his back as it is, the rest goes in the little bag. Anyway, I've got a 20 minute walk for this one. When uh, a lot of places I could uh, leave my motor. You'll have recognized the beginning of this walk from when I did the stealth camp behind the wall. I'm not gonna be going that way. If I did, I'd point it out, but I'm not. The weather's going to get much worse. I don't. I don't properly know. It's supposed to be a storm. Whether we've had it, who knows? I mean, it only has to be a 25 mile an hour wind these days, and it gets named a storm, doesn't it? We'll find out later. Anyway, where am I going to camp tonight? I'm going to be doing a stealth camp featuring. I didn't mention it in the, uh, the beginning. The outside in, as usual. But yeah, I'm gonna be stealth camping in the grounds of a hotel. Oh yes. Same as usual, get in, get hidden, get the tent up, get the camo net up if needed, get the chair out, have a tinny, have a few more tinnies, snacks, cook some food, and see how long the idiot can stay awake for. Them clouds don't look too good. <laughs> Let's hope I can uh, get the tent pitched up before it throws it down. They certainly look a lot darker with the eye than the camera. You may remember me doing the stealth camp beyond that little wall. That was a head up there. We're not going that way though. So I've just been approached by somebody uh, on a bike. Uh, initially, I thought they were going to ask me for directions or have I got a cigarette, which I don't smoke. But usually when you get stopped by somebody or even a light, I don't know. But this guy actually says, uh, excuse me, are you doing a YouTube channel? And starts asking me about it. Am I big on YouTube? Apparently uh, he enjoys watching camping. Uh, videos and stuff and he's asked for my channel and he wants to check it out So what I've done is cut up the bank up here and come up here 
and I'm going to go from the other side into it. I think the kids have been having a good time, don't you? The old laughing gas. So I'm nearly at the hotel now. I've only got to uh, go a little bit up the path here, turn left into it, and I'm just going to go for it. But obviously, you're going to want to see me going in there, so you'll see that. Premier Inn, that's where it's at tonight. Would you get a load of that, say? Eh? I don't think that's been sat on in a while. I'll stick to my own, but thank you very much, Premier Inn. And I shan't worry if I have too many and I uh, fall in the deep water. Children should be supervised at all times. I wouldn't have them swimming in there in the first place, to be fair, but that's, you know, what you... <laughs> the mind does boggle. So I'm keeping it down a bit because there is people the other side of that bush getting into the cars and getting stuff out of the cars, getting in and out, whatever. I'm going to go and have a look where I think the best place to pitch up is going to be. McDonald's over there. Couple more benches, one there and one there. I don't think much of the view though. Who decided to face them that way? The bag of swag. It's, it's 
It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. Yes, that's it's gotta be here. I don't even think I need the camo net, but I mean I could just put it across there as a so it doesn't look like a through fare to the Joe public. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna get the stuff down here. Travelling light as usual. You know it. Yes, the chair. <laughs> Wonder how long I can uh, keep me gob down for when I've had a few of. Oh, hello. We've got Luminous Nights IPA. And we've got a lovely Steam Brew IPA. If you follow the channel, you'll know how much this idiot loves an IPA. I'm going to lose the light and I'm going to have a look and show you. Close to civilization, man. I can already see people. Yeah, so. Not too far away. I, I will think about putting the camo net across there. I'll get pitched up. I'll have a walk round like I'm just a member of Joe Public. And I'll see what it's looking like. Obviously, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to enjoy a Beverly. But yeah, once the tent's up, I'll go round as I always do and I'll have a look. So at the moment, the outer of my tent is uh, pitched up. This is my tarpaulin footprint which is battered now this little bit here does extend out so I can actually in fact it folds out I've done it that way but yeah so I've got a porch area if need be if the ground's really wet sorry uh, that's duct tape by the way Duct as in D-U-C-T not quack quack duck. I know you can get quack quack duct tape, but this is actual duct tape anyway there was a lot of uh, Stinging nettles and a bit of bramble which I've used this little tiny blade just to cut through it I don't like carrying anything bigger than that when I'm camping for obvious reasons getting in trouble with the law but now the reason I'm showing you this is my missus says to me when she saw me taping this why don't you just buy a new tarp well I have done many times and they all end up like this so I will keep patching it up because you're not going to see that once the inner of the tent goes in and the more you patch it up the stronger it gets and I don't care what anybody says and also when you buy a brand new tarp especially this sort of from a hardware store or shop or whatever they are quite um, rigid to start with but after a bit of use they do soften up but they do a lot in the way of protecting the bottom of the tent apart from obviously sorry just wait for that noisy car to go past but yeah and I don't care what anybody says they do actually help hold the heating now I've messed around with that a bit so I've got to actually push that back a bit but this is cut just shy of the tent as I've said before you don't want it sticking out there because the rain will pull underneath anyway I need two hands to put it back together bring you back in a bit so there you go the tent is set up bad news where I intended to pitch up the tent I've had to come somewhere else I can't really show you at the moment because it is raining 
I don't want to get wet. The ground, when I was trying to put the ground spikes in, tent pegs, whatever you want to call them, tent arrows, many names for them. Whatever was under the ground, it was like, like shingle, hardcore. Nothing I could do could get a peg in without pretty much bending them or so I had to take it upon myself to bring all my gear and move over here. I mean you can hear it's yeah it's raining pretty good. I mean it was predicted. I don't mind the rain. I love camping in the rain. I love the sound of the rain on the tent. But it just means I won't be sat in the chair in the chair and I won't be doing much of a walkabout. But for me, in fact, I'll poke the camera out the tent and I'll show you where I was and where I am. So, I mean, I'm leaning on my left hand because I got my head out the tent, but I was over in that direction in the middle of the screen there. That's where I was. The car park is over in that direction. Probably can see the lights and the pubs over there, hotel, beef eater, premier inn, etc, etc. <clears throat> And I'm there behind some bushes in some softer ground. I mean, I'm a bit more exposed there, but when it does stop raining, I'm looking at getting the old camo net up. But I'm not going to do that in the rain. What I am going to do is enjoy another beer, have some snacks, and just genuinely enjoy the night. That's what we come out for, right? So I'm guessing you're going to want to know what it's looking like tonight. So I'm about to tell you. Yeah, of course, as mentioned, I have to change my plans a little bit. So a little bit behind where I wanted to be. However, I'm going to show you around. Starting from the back, as usual, the good old retro styled lantern that I really do love. <clears throat> down jacket in case it gets cold not too cold at the moment well certainly isn't in here um, the pack keeping dry inside the warm hat head torch as per we've got the sleeping pad not completely inflated yet I'll do that when needs be sleeping bag pillow yeah so we're currently inside at the outside in should I say the inside in who knows but no I will be taking that out in a moment inside we do have a lovely temperature of just above 14 degrees no one's moaning at that temperature are they uh, the electricals, power bank, the old selfie sticks on charge so the light works and what I have brought with me tonight is my little charger because um, I didn't charge my batteries in time for my head torch and in case that one runs out I thought I need a spare one however if I'm charging one, I may as well charge them all. Good little charger that. Done me proud for what I paid for it. Anyway, what are we eating? Oh, right. So ooh, we're going to be lazy tonight. We're going to have a, a tin of chicken curry with some egg fried rice. I know it's not very interesting, but I enjoy it. But what I am going to do is throw these king prawns in. I've got some salami, potato sticks as usual, I do like those salt and vinegar ones, milk for the brew in the morning, I mean that is overkill, I only needed one half the size of that but I do drink the rest of it after, the kitchen, when you know, you know, some pearl and backers, and we've got a cinnamon bun that I got from Lidl. That smells good. That I'll have in the morning with me brew. 
Round here we've got the bin. I keep all the uh, the bags inside one bag. Yeah, I've spoken about that before. Now, I'm now back at where I was going to pitch the tent up. I'm having to use my head torch shining in my face for light because my selfie stick battery has died, as you know, it's on charge in the tent. What I'm gonna do is show you where I was gonna pitch up and now where I am and why I will need the camo net now. So let's get to it, let's show you. So if you remember, I came through here I was in this little area here and I thought wow I've landed on the money here got enough cover there maybe if needed I could have put the camo net up just to stop people thinking it's a through fair if I put enough foliage and whatnot but anyway so in relation to the hotel it's only there <laughs> this is the car park here so car park hello but yeah I thought down here absolutely perfect nailed it until I come to try and put the pegs in the ground whatever is under there as I say it's like it's like full of hardcore it's like they've filled it with it's man-made, I know that for sure. I could not get any of them grain pegs in or whatsoever. But yeah, that was looking promising. However, remember McDonald's over there? I came a bit further down. Add another go, see if we get some pegs in the ground, not a chance. I mean, it even feels hard. That not very good looking bench. I mean, that's been there some time. Again, not the greatest of views. What we'll do is lose the light. We've got enough light to, you know, see where we're going now. And if you remember, we had them two benches there. One, two. Guaranteed a good night's sleep or your money back. I'll let you know in the morning. Now, while I'm over here, so if you're walking back and... By the way, this ground is lovely and soft under the feet. Lovely and soft. But there's your hotel over there. Now, put the light back on again. I did have this little area in mind. I'll tell you for why, because I thought you know what, this will be great. Get the tent in there, just across there. I've got the wind coming in here. And I can somewhat get the camo net across. Just give me that bit of cover. But what I didn't like is how cl close proximity I am to that play area. Yeah, I don't want people thinking I'm some kind of wrong one because that's not what we're about here. So that leaves me.
Sorry about the little walk, folks. Try and speed it up a bit. I mean, the old fire engine. To it. They should be paying me for advertising. Right, there I am. It's only for the fact that you've got the lights. Told ya, outside in. I mean, anybody in the car park, anyone in the car park, not a Scooby. That's better, looks better there. So we're currently sat in the tent getting out the weather. I mean, the moment I press record, it stopped, but as you can see, it has been giving it a good go. That's the third, third set of sirens I've heard in the space of half hour. We're on olives, salami, and maybe those, if that doesn't quite hit the spot, but yeah. And we're going to have another one of those. Try again now, I've staked it then. So we know what time it is. Time to get, I'd say cooking, but it's hardly cooking. We are warming up a curry and frying some prawns. Do apologize, got people walking past that I can hear. And somebody uh, giving it the beans with their car.
yeah, gone now. Anyway, so, yeah, so, we'll get the fire going and we'll get some food on the go. So, of course, we have fire. We will get the rice going, throw the curry in, fry some prawns, and we'll have a meal. So the rice is um, heating up. What I will say is, yeah, it's getting a little bit messy again in the vestibule, but it's nice for the first time in a long time to have a grassy vestibule instead of just pure mud. Get in. I mean, it is much nicer. I did have to get rid of, I mean, there's still some stingers there, but I did have to uh, trim it down a little bit and make it a little bit more so it wasn't gonna get me old fingers, but yeah. We're into the warmer months now. Spring's here. Summer barbecues. Let's embrace it. I mean, I like the cold weather as well, and I've I've been out there every week, regardless. But it'd be nice now to have some longer days, warm days, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling drunk. I'm just gonna cook the food. <laughs> Whatever. The cur curry can go in there. One step close to a meal, I mean, we'll give them a quick fry off, throw them in, job is a good one. And while that happens, oh hello, we'll have a tinny, get in. So we've got this uh, curry simmering away nicely, what I'm going to do is take that off the heat, like so. Yep, and I'm gonna get these prawns. Just give them a a quick blast, turn them over, blast again, throw them in the curry, and we have a meal. Simple. That is more than ready to go. Chicken and prawn curry with egg fried rice. Winner. So the goods are served. I've still left the uh, fire burning. Gives that nice bit of heat. I'll have people tomorrow moaning about me eating on camera. And then I've got people who say, oh, I'd love to see you enjoy your food. So it's one of them. Some people like it, some people hate it. You know what? It's one of them. I can't please everybody. But yeah, that is a good, meal prawns they were a good addition to the chicken Bonjour. Good morning. Ten past eight in the morning. I crashed out. Last time I checked last night, it was about three o'clock in the morning. I had my food and it did get a bit cold and out. So I lit the stove, uh, got in the bag, I didn't say goodnight, because I crashed out obviously. Oh. Well, I did have a lovely sleep though, but I could happily go back to sleep, but not where I am. No.
It's so cozy in here. It is unreal. Oh. Easily go back to sleep. Ooh. I'm not gonna. Not where I'm camped anyway. No, getting up. Oh. Definitely getting up. So I'm up, I'm outside the tent. So that's where I was planning on staying, <clears throat> or should I say pitching the tent up. Always looks different in the daytime. Sixteen degrees, or just about. Cinnamon bun. Look at that. Oh.
yeah, half my foliage just fell down. I certainly made use of uh, those knots that Chris taught me. When it zooms in, slide it along, slide it along, but clever. And that's what I use to put the camo netting up. You can see how exposed it is now without that netting. I mean, I could have pitched up down there, but I like a little bit of room to move around especially moving around the tent and I just wanted to use the camo net as well because it's new and I think it's cool well that's the big kid in me coming out and it weighs next to nothing and that's by Nighthawk Going to this a good 18 degrees. It's not climbing up on the weather app. I mean it is cloudy. Now if you uh, follow Hard Up Hiker, yeah that's his channel, Tim. I was talking to him on one of his videos in the comments about footwear because he was talking about his peregrine hiking I can't remember what they called no I can't remember I know he calls them peregrine peregrine whatever they are um, now I don't do a lot of hiking I like wearing safety boots because if you've seen some of the stupid places that I camp in, I mean, under the motorway for one, yeah. Imagine walking around there and I trod on a pallet because there was a load of rubbish dumped under there and a nail goes through my boot. My camp is game over for sure. Yeah, I'll have to go to A&E. But yeah, in Tim's video, he was talking about some spike going through his foot. I don't, it didn't go into his foot, but it made a hole which he had to bung up. So that's given me a little bit more confidence in going out in safety boots as opposed to hiking shoes or... And I have got gel insoles in them. They're actually really comfortable and they're really waterproof, tried and tested. And when they stop being waterproof, I'll throw them and I'll get some more. But for now... That's what I wear on my feet. For safety reasons. In the earlier days of my YouTube videos, I did used to give tips, but as time goes on, there's only so many tips you can give people. However, I have got a tip today. When you cut paracord, for instance, you cut it, and it all starts fraying like so get your lighter and it will fray no more there you go, I feel better now. It's been a while since I give a tip, but 
If it helps somebody, happy days. Goes about saying, as always, leave no trace. Yeah, we are all ready to get out of here. It would have been nice if they'd put the gate somewhere along that edge for us stealth campers, wouldn't it? There you are, the Premier Inn. So, I'm going to quickly take this opportunity before I get out of here to once again say thank you to everybody who subscribed Thank you to everybody who's been with me from the start. Um, I love engaging with you. I love all the kind comments. Love the support. And also thanks to everybody who's bought me a coffee. That did get put to good use before when I went to the Peak District. I mean, that paid for me petrol. It's nice to do something I enjoy and it didn't even come out of my pocket. So thank you very much. Thank you. In fact, I salute you. But yeah, also, while I'm at it, please give me a like, please subscribe. This isn't the end yet. I'm deciding how I'm gonna go about getting out of here. Because I mean, this wasn't the most exciting of my camps that I've done. I mean, I could sneak out the way I've come in, or I could go all brazen and walk through the car park like I own the place. No, I don't own the place. No, that's not the plot twist. With a selfie stick in my hand as well. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, we'll do that. With me bag of rubbish and me bag that no longer contains swag. as busy as it was last night. Let's turn you around. The manky old bench. The area that I was going to uh, camp in. Just come walking out of a bush, normal.
Look what I found. That's what you do, your rubbish, you put it in a bin. Well, we were certainly keeping it real last night, weren't we? Camping in the uh, grounds of a hotel, the Premier Inn, of course. Anyway, time to wrap this up now. So, as always, thanks for watching. Keep it real. See you on the next one.